In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add hyperlinks to Outlook email messages. This process is incredibly handy for anyone who wants to make their emails more dynamic, informative, or professional. And it's quite easy to do once you get the hang of it. So let's dive right into it and get started. First things first, you'll need to log into your Microsoft Outlook account. If you're not already on the page, open your web browser and head over to Microsoft's Outlook website. Once you're there, look for the Sign In button, which should be prominently displayed on the home page. Give it a click. Now, it's time to input your login details. This will typically mean typing in your email and password for your Outlook account. Make sure everything is spelled correctly to avoid any login hiccups. Once you're confident everything is in order, click Next. Once you're signed in and find yourself on the Outlook dashboard, the next step is to start a new email. For this, look for the New Email button, which is often situated at the top or in an easily visible spot on your dashboard. Clicking this will open a fresh email template where you can begin composing your message. With the email draft open, go ahead and write your message as you intend to send it. This could be anything from a brief note to a colleague or a detailed newsletter to multiple recipients. Once your message is ready and you've reached the point where you want to add a hyperlink, simply highlight the specific portion of text you intend to link. After you've highlighted the text, keep an eye out for a small toolbar that pops up. It should contain several formatting options. Among these options, there's an icon that looks like a link or a chain. This is the link icon, and it's what you need to click to proceed. Clicking the link icon will prompt a new pop-up window to appear. This window is where you'll input the web address or URL you want to link to your chosen section of text. It's important to double check this URL for accuracy, as any errors could lead to a broken link and confusion for anyone who clicks it. Once you've entered the correct web address, you can simply confirm your input. And just like that, you've integrated a hyperlink into your Outlook email. This tiny but mighty feature can significantly enhance the interactivity and professionalism of your messages. So, that wraps up our tutorial on adding hyperlinks to Outlook email messages. I hope you found this guide straightforward and helpful. With a bit of practice, you'll be linking like a pro in no time. Thank you for watching, and happy emailing.